We next move on to provision for repairs and renewals. Sometimes a separate provision account for repairs is maintained. The idea behind this is to have a uniform charge to the profit and loss account on account of repairs. The total repairs expenditure on the particular asset is estimated. Let us assume that we estimate this particular, uh, the, the total expenditure of repairs to be around 40,000. And this is over a life of 4 years. If that be the case, then we create a provision of 10,000 every year. The entry for creating a provision is profit and loss account debit to provision for repairs. The entry would be, the amount involved would be 10,000. When we actually incur expenditure, maybe in year 1 there is hardly any expenditure or maybe we spend repairs account debit to bank an amount of rupees 1000 only. This amount of repairs, this repairs expenditure is not taken to profit and loss account but it is taken to the repairs account. So, provision for repairs account is debited and to repairs we take an amount of 1000. Therefore, in the provision for repairs account, we first create a provision in year 1 amounting to 10,000, then charge repairs of 1,000 and have a balance of 9,000 which is carried forward to the next year. So if 9,000 is brought forward the next year, again there is a profit and loss charge of 10,000 which is the charge that we make every year <coughs> and the next year repairs could be a little more, maybe at 6,000, so that we have a balance now of <coughs> 13,000. The advantage of this method is that every year a uniform charge is made to the uniform charge on the profit and loss account is made and a provision is created. The, the amount of repairs is usually expected to increase over a period of time. But we make an estimate and try to charge or spread this cost of repairs uniformly throughout the life of the asset. <coughs>